Hi friends, welcome to your morning vinyasa flow, rise and shine. In today's practice, we get the whole body moving, wake up your spirit, get your energies going and get you ready for your day. If you happen to have yoga blocks at home, they could be helpful, but I will show you everything without them. But maybe you can have at least a cushion or a rolled up blanket handy. We will only leave that in the very end of the class. And then let's get started right away. We begin today's class laying down on our backs just for a moment. And your feet could be pointing forward towards the top of your mat. So take your time to come down gently, mindfully, and lay down on the back and either extend your legs out or if you prefer to keep the legs bent and the knees falling towards each other, that also works. See what feels best for your back. And then place your hands on your abdomen or maybe on the chest or wherever it feels soothing and calming. And just take a moment to arrive and settle in. You're invited to close the eyes if that's comfortable or if you prefer to keep them open then just gently gaze up to the sky or the ceiling and just give your eyes a rest. Withdraw from the screen. Withdraw from everything that is happening around you. And let everything that has happened this morning or anything that is planned for today just be for a moment. There is no need to analyze or control or think of anything right now. Simply become present. And when you begin to feel the body in space, feel the areas of the body that are touching the ground. And feel yourself connected and present in the here now. Bring your focus to your breath. And for a moment, simply observe how the breath flows naturally in and out of your nostrils without any rush. Feel the gentle rising and falling of the chest or the abdomen. Just let the breath come and go and let this very gentle rhythm calm you down. Bring you more into the body, into the moment. Good. And then go ahead and take a deeper breath in through the nose. And gently sigh it out through the lips. Again, deeper in it through the nose. Let it all go through the mouth. One more time, deep inhale. And let it go. Good. And then from here, bend your right leg and step the foot onto the ground. And then from here, pull the left knee up to the chest. You can keep the eyes closed or blink them open if you need some visual instruction. And for a moment, just pull the knee close to the chest, press the low back into the ground. And then from here, interlace your fingers around the back of your thigh and extend the left leg up to the ceiling. And maybe you can flex the foot a little bit, pulling the toes closer, sending the heel away. And if that feels very tight in the back of your leg, just bend the leg a bit more. Keep the low back rounded as you start circling your ankle first in one direction and then the other. And then from here, pull the knee back towards the chest, interlace the fingers around the shin, and then slide the right heel out from here, press the low back into the ground, lift the head, bring the nose to the knee, and breathe into the belly, stimulating the center of the body, let's a bit. And then bring the upper body back down. Rest your left foot gently on the right knee. The left arm can extend to the left, and the right, knee, right hand helps you to bring the left knee across the body, onto the right side, into a gentle twist. Shoulders relax, face soft, breathing into the twist. Good. And then slowly come back to the center and step your left foot onto the mat. From here, bring the right knee up to the chest. For a moment, just grab a hold of the shin, pull the knee up toward the chest. Ground the low back as you press it into the mat. 
and from here extend the right leg up to the ceiling. You can keep the knee rather soft or maybe the leg straight depending on how you feel today. Hands can support the leg by interlacing around the hamstring and maybe you can pull the toes in a little bit if that feels fine for the back of the leg. And then circle the ankle one way and then the other. We're slowly waking up the body. And then from here, pull the knee up to the chest. Slide the left heel away from you. Keep the lower back rounded as you lift the head. Nose to knee, breathe into the abdomen. Okay. From here, release the upper body back down. Right foot onto the left knee, right arm extends out. It can be also bend if that feels better for the shoulder. And then come into that twist. It's a very gentle twist. There will be more twisting today, so Allow these first movements to be gentle and soft for the body to slowly awaken. And then bring the knee back towards the chest and bring the second knee up as well. Hugging both shins in, maybe rock a bit from side to side on the low back. And then go ahead and see if that feels good for you to rock front and back along the spine. Now for some people this is not comfortable so you can also skip this part and just come over one side. If that feels all right you can grab behind the knees, take a bit more momentum, take one more big roll massaging the spine and then with a bit of momentum cross your shins and see if you can roll over the feet otherwise come over one side. We'll meet in a tabletop position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, maybe the toes tucked to stretch the feet. And then go ahead and press yourself into a rounded cat stretch. As you exhale, broaden the upper back, take the chin down, the table and down. And then inhale, lift the table and lift the heart, chin slightly, curve the back cow stretch. Twice more. Exhale, round, synchronize breath and movement. And inhale, open up the chest, drop the belly. One more time. Exhale, press away from the ground, open up between the shoulder blades. Inhale, lift the heart. Open up between the collarbones. Good. On your exhale, come into a neutral spine. Grab the fingertips into the ground. Keep the toes tucked. Lift your knees off the ground just about two or three centimeters. We're hovering, really activating the body here. Make sure you're not sinking into a curved back or in between the shoulder blades, but keep the spine stable. We take one more breath. And then from here, send the hips back and up into a downward facing dog and step the feet back a little bit to give yourself a bit more space. And then take a moment to generously pedal the legs. Bring one heel after the other closer to the ground. Any amount is fine so you can feel the back of the legs lengthening. Maybe gently move the knees from side to side to bring some movement into the hip joints, into the low back. And feel free to release any tension from the neck, from the face, whatever feels good for you. And then slowly find some stillness in the down dog. Bend the knees a bit more. Press the belly towards the thighs. Lift the hips up. Let those arms grow longer, the shoulders wider. Look to the navel or to the knees. Take a full breath in through the nose. And then side out through the mouth. Inhaling, slowly roll forward into a high plank. You can think cat-like with the back, really broad shoulder blades here. And then bend the knees, lead up with the hips back up into your Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. We do this twice more. Inhale, roll it forward into your high plank. Make sure your shoulders are over the wrist. You can always adjust. Exhale, hips back and up, downward facing dog. One more. Inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, wave it forward into your plank pose. Now this time we'll stay. Exhale here, long spine. Take another inhale. On the exhale, bring knees, chest and chin down to the ground. Ashtanga Namaskar, your hips stay up. Slide forward, inhale, Cobra, Bhujangasana. Press the tops of the feet down, pull the shoulders back. And as you exhale, tuck the toes, push the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll it forward into your high plank. This time, exhale, bring the knees down and try lowering without curving the back. So belly and chest arrive at the same time. It's kind of like a half chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, activate the back much more than the hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up high into a three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest, shoulders over wrists without stepping the foot through. Back up again. Inhale, long leg, long back. Exhale, knee to chest. We stay here, inhale, pull the knee a bit higher. 
And then on the exhale, step the foot through. You can come into the fingertips if necessary. Inhale, high lunge, stand up, sweep the arms up. And exhale, cactus the arms, open the chest. Inhale, sweep the arms up one more time. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Step to the top of the mat, inhale, long spine. And exhale, fold into your forward fold. Again, inhale, half lift. Exhale, one more time. Give in. Knees are soft, head is heavy. We stand up from here. Inhale, reach the arms up over the side. Long spine, look up to your hands. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart and next to the body, mountain pose. Go with the breath. Inhale, reach the arms up, upward salute. Look up to your hands. Exhale, fold through the center all the way down. Inhale, reach the heart up. Exhale, step back and lower with or without the knees if you feel ready for your Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra as before or upward facing dog. Only tops of the feet and hands are pressing down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up into the air, three-legged dog. Knee to chest as you exhale, shoulders over wrists without stepping through. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, knee to chest. We stay here. Inhale, pull the knee higher. And exhale, step the foot through. High lunge, strong legs. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the chest. We squeeze the shoulder blades. Sweep the arms up again. Inhale. And exhale, bring the hands down to the ground. Frame the front foot. You can stay on the fingertips. Inhale, step to the top of the mat, half forward fold. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, half lift, long back. Now listen, exhale, reach the right arm up. We want to twist open, so maybe you want to release the left heel and bend that left leg. That gives you more space to open the chest. Inhale, reach the right fingertips up. Exhale, reach the right heel down, just as far as it feels fine for the back of your leg. Inhale here. And on the exhale, fold all the way down, softly, Uttanasana. Inhale, Aida Uttanasana, long back. Exhale, reach the left arm up. Maybe release the right heel. This makes it a bit easier to keep the spine long to open. Really reach up with the fingertips and maybe lengthen the left leg a bit more so you feel that back leg opening. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, fold all the way down. Release the heel back down. Inhale, half lift long back. Now send the hips back. Stay low, low, low. Draw the low belly in. Chair pose. Sweep the arms up. Utkatasana. We're staying for the exhale. Inhale here. And then give in once again, fold all the way down. Inhale, reach the heart forward, half lift. Exhale, step back. Make sure to switch out your legs, lower all the way or half, with or without the knees, but try and keep a long back. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Inhale, reach your right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, big step in between the hands. This time, bring the left knee down. You can always cushion the knee by flipping the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up, low lunge. Exhale, stay, drop the shoulders. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the hands back down. Stay on the fingertips or maybe take your blocks if you have them. Inhale, push the right leg back. Maybe you can flex the foot. And exhale, gently bow over the front leg. Now, if you're further up, that's fine. Maybe you have the blocks. Maybe you keep the leg a bit more bent. Wherever you are, just breathe into your pose. Pull the right hip back. Draw the belly in. We stay another full breath. And then bend the front leg, plant the left hand, swim the right arm up and open for your easy twist. You can stay or release the back knee off the ground. Try and open the chest just as we did standing at the top of the mat, finding that long line from one wrist to the other. We take one more inhale here. And on the exhale, bring the right hand back down. Inhale, plank pose. You could do this on one leg if this is something you practice. Exhale, lower all the way or half with or without the knees. Inhale, cobra or up dog for your back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, inhale up into the air. 
Big step forward as you exhale. Right knee down. For a low lunge, inhale, asana, uh, Anjali Asana. Exhale, drop the shoulders. Good. Reach the hands higher, inhale. Exhale, bring the fingertips down. Maybe use the blocks. Inhale, reach the hips back, left leg goes long. Exhale, fold, Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. And it's the morning, take it easy. It doesn't matter how deep you go, you want to feel a bit of opening sensation in the back of your left leg. Good. And then rise up with the chest, look forward. Bend the front leg, plant the right hand underneath the shoulder, swim the left arm open for your easy twist, right knee stays or lifts off the mat. Strong legs, open chest. Keep breathing. Good. And then look down, plant the hand on your exhale. Step back on the inhale and once again choose if you want to flow on one leg with or without the knees, depending on how you feel today. Could be completely different than any other day. Open for the inhale and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up into the air. Big step forward as you exhale. Now bring the back heel down for warrior one. It's about 45 degrees. Stand up, bring the hands together and settle into your pose. Pull the right hip back. Reach the arms higher as you inhale. Press the hands together, drop the shoulders as you exhale. Vira Badrasana one. We take one more inhale here. On the exhale, release the arms, interlace all 10 fingers behind the back. Lift the heart higher as you inhale. And as you exhale, lean forward into a humble warrior. Any degree is fine. Maybe your belly meets the thigh. Maybe you pass on the inside of your knee. Keep your feet grounded. Keep your gaze steady. And keep your mind relaxed. Just keep breathing through it. We stay one more full breath here. And then stay low in the upper body. Just release the hands, fingertips to the ground or onto the blocks. Lift the heart forward as you inhale, step the back foot closer. And as you exhale, ground the back foot back down. Reach the heart forward, inhale like half forward fold. And exhale, fold over the standing leg. Now, if you don't have blocks and the floor is very far away, you can also bring the hands onto the shin or maybe you bring the hands onto the hips, whatever works for you today. Just make sure you can breathe and you stay relaxed in the mind, soft in the breath, easy on yourself. One more breath. And then on your next inhale, reach the heart forward like half forward fold. Exhale, the left hand stays and the right hand reaches up, twist the triangle. Now maybe you have a lot of space and your left hand comes into the outside of the right knee, but you want it, the right foot rather, but you want to keep the chest open. So see what works for you if you have any props. Keep pulling the right head back, just keep breathing. Good. And one more breath. On your exhale, bring the right hand down, bend the right leg first, you can step the left foot back and then bring the right leg back next to it, maybe let it hover for your vinyasa, it's your choice. Inhale, find your back bend, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, inhale up into the air. Big step forward. Back heel comes down for warrior one. Inhale, stand up, bring the hands together. Settle into the hips, pull the left one back. Reach the arms higher if that's okay for your back, for your neck. And press the hands together. One more breath. Good, inhale here. Exhale, release the arms, interlace one finger further, so the non-dominant way, different than you did in the first side. Inhale here. And exhale, lean forward. And again, Find an angle that works for you so you can breathe and your face is still relaxed. And just kind of be open to the experience, be curious. It's just a practice. Every practice, every day is different. 
stay low in the upper body as you release the hands, fingertips find the ground or your blocks maybe, and then look forward, bring the back foot closer, straighten both legs and ground the back foot down. Reach the heart forward, inhale, half lift. Exhale, draw the belly in, fold, partial tanasana. And again, you know your options, maybe hands into the shin, maybe hands into the hips. Try not pressing all the way through the joint, but pull the thigh up, pull the kneecap up, and keep a bit of control here. Give in to the breath. One more. And then on the inner, reach the heart forward. On the exhale, keep the right hand down, maybe with or without the block, and the left arm is reaching up for a twisted triangle, Parivrita Trikonasana. And especially in the morning, twists are wonderfully stimulating, so just try and open the chest, feel the stimulation in the center of the body and your spine. We take one more breath. And look down, ground the left hand, ground the right hand, bend the left leg first. You can step the right foot back and then bring the left leg out. And once again, find a flow that feels good for you or choose a down dog or maybe another resting pose. And just take responsibility. Listen to your body. What do you need? We'll meet in two breaths. So you can flow or you can rest, whatever feels best for you in the morning. Let's take a synchronizing breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. And then reach your right leg up into the air once more. Three-legged dog. Exhale, big step forward. Back heel stays lifted for the high lunge. Stand up, sweep the arms up. And as you exhale, bring the hands together in front of the heart. Lean forward, draw the belly in. Take your time to shift the weight forward and bring your weight onto the right leg. Left leg comes off the ground for your warrior three pose. Left toes are flexed down to the ground. Heart is open. Breath keeps flowing. I take one more breath here. And then engage the core a lot. We want to stand up, pull the left leg up and through, and you can grab a hold of the knee for a moment and arrive in this upright position. Go ahead with your first three fingers of the left hand, grab the big toe, right hand into the hip, and then start extending the leg out in front of you. And it can be just a little bit. The leg can be super bent, but maybe you can try and pull the shoulder back into the joint. If you happen to have space, you can extend the leg. Just explore a little bit, be curious, be mindful, and keep your ease. I take another breath here. And then bend the leg again. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. Leg goes out back behind you for the warrior three, just as a transition. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly step the left foot far behind you. High lunge, sweep the arms up. It's really a recharging movement. Exhale, open arms and hips for warrior two. Sit the hips a bit deeper. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, find that stability. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale straight in the front leg without pressing through the knee. Exhale, pull yourself forward and down. Stack your shoulders. Triangle pose. Once again, chest is open, side body is long. And energetically, we want to go up, up, up. And we feel the whole body engage. One more breath. And then look down to the mat. Press into the front foot. Inhale, bring the upper body back up. And exhale, bend the front leg warrior two. Peaceful warrior, float the upper arm back. Exhale, windmill the hands down to frame the front foot. Inhale, bring the right leg all the way up into a three-legged dot. Exhale, bend the leg, open the groin, knee points up. Inhale here. Exhale, choose to stay or shift the weight forward. Bring the left heel down, wild thing, bring the right foot behind you. Reach the right arm over your ear, open the front body. One breath here. And then lower the hips, flip back over and choose a flow or a dog or a sita posture, a child's posture, whatever feels best before we switch the sides. We meet in the down dog. When you're ready, take a full breath. And then lift the left leg up. Big step forward. High lunge, inhale. Hands together in front of the heart, exhale, lean forward. Take your time, rather take a breath or two more to shift into your balancing pose than rushing. When we rush, we usually become hectic and 
wobbly and this applies to everything on the mat as well as off the mat. So keep it easy, breathe. Slowly stand up, pull the right leg up and through, grab a hold of the knee. You can always set the foot down, take a breath and start over. And then with your first three fingers, grab a hold of the big toe, left hand into the left hip, and then extend the right leg out in front of you and try and bring the shoulder back into the joint. Now you can bend the leg a lot more, see what works for you, but try not pulling the arm forward too much. We take one more breath here. And then slowly bend the leg, hands together in front of the heart, bring it back out, warrior three. Take an inhale here. Slowly step it back, exhale. Take the arms up, inhale, recharge. Open for warrior two, back heel goes down, arms go out to the side, left knee points forward. Long spine, inhale. Sit a bit deeper, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, straighten the front leg. Keep the thigh active, pull the kneecap up, pull yourself forward and down. Triangle pose, stack the shoulders, pull yourself up. Keep the face relaxed, keep the feet active. Two breaths. And then look down to the ground, press into the feet, inhale, bring the upper body back up. Exhale, we bend the front leg, warrior two. Peaceful warrior, inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, windmill the hands down to frame the front foot, release the back heel. In a three-legged dog, left leg goes up. Exhale, bend the leg, open the groin. Inhale here. Either stay or choose to come with me into our thing. Shoulders come forward, right heel comes down. Slowly step the left foot behind you, release the left hand. Reach the heart open, arm goes overhead. One full breath. And then bring the hips down so you can flip back over into your plank pose. Take a vinyasa or a down dog or a chai's pose. Whatever you can do with your breath. Good. Wherever you are, if you're in a dog pose, come over a plank. If you're in a chai's pose, you can slide along the mat. We'll meet on the belly, slowly lowering all the way down. Point the toes, come onto the fingertips, bring the hands out of the mat, elbows are pointing up, and then really engage the feet, pressing into the mat. Inhale, lift up for a bit of a bigger cobra. Exhale, drop the left shoulder, look over the right shoulder, twist the upper body. Inhale, rise up, open the chest. Exhale, drop the right shoulder, look over the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Any amount is fine. You don't have to go very low. Inhale, check how your shoulders feel. And exhale, twist to the left. You go one more time to center. Inhale, really open up the chest, recharge, full breath. And exhale, release it down. Bring your hands on top of each other. Maybe rest the forehead down. Wiggle the hips a little bit. Just take a recharging breath here. And then from here, extend one arm forward, roll onto the back, and maybe you need to shimmy a bit so you're back on the mat, and bring your feet close to the bum, and see if you have your prop somewhere close. We'll need it soon. So once you're all set up, feet are close to the body for shoulder bridge, press into the feet, they're hip distance apart, roll your hips off the mat, roll the spine of the mat, and then either stay with the arms alongside the mat, or maybe Interlace all 10 fingers behind the back. Drag the shoulder blades together underneath the body so you can really open the chest. Bring the chin down towards the chest. Neck is nice and long. And then lift your hips up. Lift the pubic bone up to the navel and really feel the whole front body opening. Feel yourself with fresh air. The noon is of the day. Three full breaths. And then release the hands, come onto the tiptoes and slowly roll your way back down. Walk your feet further apart till the edges of the mat. Let the knees just go towards each other in the center. 
rest against each other and bring your hands back into the upper body. And just observe how the body and the breath feel now. The temperature has changed, the sensations. And then from here, bring your arms out to the side, extend it or in a cactus shape, whatever feels good for your shoulders. And the way your feet are with this wide stance, just let your knees drop from side to side, like a windshield sweeper motion. So you feel the groins relaxing, the abdomen, the back. Yeah, from side to side. And then slowly come back to the center, bring the feet back together, hip distance apart, and then go ahead and grab your prop, whether it's a cushion or a rolled up blanket or a block. Press the feet into the ground once again, as you did for your shoulder bridge, and slide your prop underneath the pelvis in a way that allows you to really rest the hips down. So it shouldn't be like in the spine, it shouldn't be uncomfortable, but you really want to be able to rest the legs down, the hips down. And then from here, one leg after the other, extend them up to the ceiling. And if you feel maybe the edge of the block doesn't feel good, bring your feet back down first, adjust your prop, and then bring the legs up. If you do not have anything to rest your hips on, then just bring your legs up like that with the hips on the ground. This will take a bit more muscle strength, but has a similar effect. And then once you're here in this shape we call Viparita Karani, it's like a small shoulder stand. We get the opportunity to take the pressure out of the low body and get our circulation going even a bit more. So maybe close the eyes or look up to the toes, feel any sensations in the face, maybe some warmth. Maybe you can feel that energy that you created with your asana practice to spread in the body and to shine uh, from your cheeks, from your face. Maybe you gently lift the corners of your mouth for a small smile. Let's take three more nourishing breaths here in this pose. And then go ahead and circle your ankles once again, kind of like we started the class in both directions. Extend your arms up to the sky, make small fists and also circle the wrist. You can do this all together, all the directions. And then slowly release, bring the feet back down onto the ground, lift your hips just slightly so you can bring your prop out to the side, slowly lower the low back. And maybe you want to bring the knees back together as you did after shoulder bridge, just taking a moment to rebalance. And then go ahead, bring your knees up to the chest. One more time, hug around the shins, rock a bit from side to side. And then from here, slide your legs out. We'll stay for five breaths, really briefly, for a short relaxation. Gift yourself this time. Give a lot of space to your legs, to your arms, palms facing up, shoulders heavy, face relaxed. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Gently side out through the mouth. And then let go of any control of the body, any control of the breath, any control of the mind. Just allow yourself a moment of peace and calm and rest. And then begin to feel the body in space again. Contact points with the floor. Invite small movements in small places. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Feel free to stay if you want to stay longer in your Shavasana pose. Otherwise, slowly begin to stretch a bit more generously and breathe a bit more deeply. And then bending the knees, rolling onto one side. 
and slowly pressing your way back up into a seated posture, maybe with the legs crossed. And if you're comfortable, keep your eyes closed or at least lower the gaze for another little moment, lengthen the spine and join your palms together in front of the heart in appreciation. We can learn so much from our yoga asana practice, the way we encounter challenges, instability, the way we speak to ourselves or think about ourselves in these kind of situations. So today when you step off your yoga mat, take all these little lessons with you, take some deep breaths when things become difficult, stay connected to your body, to your breath, and be mindful of the way that you speak to yourself and also in the way that you encounter others. We want to express some gratitude for the teachings of yoga, all of our teachers, and the opportunity to practice together today. And when you're ready, you can slowly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. I wish you a wonderful day. I hope you feel refreshed, ready to rise and shine and to have a really good one. We have just announced our next teacher training, which is a hybrid format. That means you can join from home online for a couple of months and then we will meet in a really beautiful location in Sicily for a full week in-person training. This and a lot more beautiful things you'll find in the resources in the description box. As always, please let me know what you thought about this practice. I always love to exchange with you and to incorporate your wishes in the next video. So have a great one. Let me know how you feel and I'll see you soon.